We've been talking about Android 4.3 for quite some time now. I'm Joe Levi, this is Pocket Now, and we're going to go hands-on with Android 4.3 on the Nexus 4. This is my Nexus 4. It is rooted. To run the leaked version of the ROM, you have to flash it via a custom ROM manager. There isn't an OTA available just yet. That may be coming in the next couple days. So let's show you what we got. Uh, on the surface, it looks just like any other version of Android. Not a lot of changes that you're going to see on the surface. To show you that this is indeed running Android 4.3, let's go into the settings all the way down to the bottom and about phone. This is Android version 4.3 and you can see all of the other fun stuff in here. This is build number JWR66N, as in Nancy. Uh, there have been a few other leaks. This one was the most recent that I could find, so hopefully what you're about to see here is going to be pretty true to what we see when 4.3 actually hits the airwaves and is delivered directly to your phone. The first place to look, since this is a smartphone, is in the dialer app. A phone is a phone after all, right? So what you can see here is I've already started pre dialing or, or auto-completing my friend Benito Pappendorf over here. I've typed in the numbers that correspond with the letters in his name. You can see I got uh, 236 blah blah blah, so that's B-E-N-D-I-T-O, and it went through, gave me a list of various different names. I'm not going to show you that because this has my personal address book on it, and it came up with a whole bunch of other people's phone numbers that I bet they don't want you to know and call them in the middle of the night. So just trust me on this one. It shows up right in here and it auto-completes. A lot of you may be saying, hey, this is something that we've already seen in Android. And yes, you may have a different device from Samsung, from HTC, from whomever that has autocomplete in the dialer already. Stock Android hasn't, not until this build. So that's the first thing that we're seeing new in Android 4.3. The next change is an update to the messaging app. So if we go ahead and launch that, you can see I've already started writing a text message to my friend Bendito. And this looks just completely normal. You can go ahead and write anything like you normally would. Where it changes is there's a new keyboard. To access it, you press and hold on the spacebar and you go over to Emoji by I-W-N-N-I-M-E. I don't know if that stands for everything. If you know what it does, head down to the comments and let me know. Let's switch to that. And now we can see all of these different emoji. These are the recent ones that I have used. It's going to default to those right away from what I can tell. If you want to change to a different list, you can select a different category here. Let's choose nature. Let's say, hey, look, that looks like a hurricane. So let's choose that. Uh, with a little bit of snow and a rainbow, and I guess that's a volcano. We can navigate back and forth using those, or go back to our list using the button in the middle. We'll also come in here and say Statue of Liberty. So lots of cool things that you can put in here just to make things a little bit more personal, maybe use a little bit less words. It's not clear on whether this is going to actually communicate across to text message users or if you're going to have to have an Android to be able to receive them. That you'll have to find out for yourself once Android 4.3 hits the market. Next up is Bluetooth, specifically Bluetooth 4.0 Low Energy. Now this is something we haven't been able to thoroughly verify yet, but it sure seems like it's included. If you haven't read our articles yet on Bluetooth 4.0 Low Energy, you need to go and do that. It's really, really neat and it lets us push out the Internet of Things a lot better than what we have before with Bluetooth 3.0, which is what the Nexus 4 had until this release. Now again, I'm making an assumption here. However, this is my Pebble smartwatch. It includes Bluetooth 4 capability in it. It's backwards compatible, so it works with Bluetooth 3 devices, but I'm getting a lot more life out of my smartwatch and out of my smartphone, and I suspect that has to do with the inclusion of Bluetooth 4 Low Energy. Next up we have improvements to the camera app. As you can see here, it looks pretty much like the old camera app did. I'm in HDR mode right now. To change, I just tap and hold. Instead of having a big round circle that I really can't see, I now have a little arc that has all of my nice frequently used things and I can get into it and make changes very easily. Whenever I hover I can see clearly what mode I'm changing to, what settings I'm manipulating. 
I'm not worried about covering up things like I was in the previous version of the, uh, the camera app. One other neat thing, rotating now is nearly instantaneous. There's none of that lag when you change the orientation of the camera. Maybe just a half second while it switches, but much, much faster, much, much nicer. Next up on the list of Android 4.3 improvements is speed. Most of the benchmarks that we ran showed that the speed was significantly increased on the Android 4.3 version versus the Android 4.2 version of the Nexus 4. How does it actually perform? Well, overall, snappy. Any hesitation that may have been on your device before is really gone now. I mean, you can see how fast this flips through things. Game performance was very, very fast. Overall user interface, also snappy. The whole device just seems smoother. This looks like Project Butter revisited and made even smoother and even more buttery than when we saw it before. Last but certainly not least, battery life running on the 4.3 version of Android is significantly better than running on 4.2. I was able, using my just normal use, I was able to get one day, one hour, 52 minutes and 55 seconds out of a single charge. That wasn't using my device any differently than I did before where I'd normally get around four to maybe six hours of battery life. So quite a leap up. That's a quick look at Android 4.3 running on the Nexus 4. One thing we do want to mention is it is a leaked release, meaning it may not be what you see when 4.3 actually arrives, though we're pretty confident that you'll see most of what we showed you here. That'll do it for now. If you liked what you saw, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends on all your favorite social media networks. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming next. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.